So these fundamental skills that these kids are learning, not only teamwork, but also problem solving skills through coding, having patience and trying different routes and asking for help, these are the kind of fundamental skills that these kids are going to learn and be able to grow with throughout their years. So I think that this kind of um, opportunity is super great for these kids. They're really passionate about making their robots grow and through this they're also learning all of these amazing skills and learning how to program and code, which is the goal here. Me and Evie are working together as a team and it's been really fun to build and program our robots. I have a bunch of robot kits at home and I've never figured out how to work them so I found it might be a little interesting to learn about that. I liked um trying to design the robot and program it to be able to do tug-of-war and win. They are so enthralled in this experience. They are hands-on, there's competitions, they're, you know, we had kids coming up to us knowing exactly what they're talking about and it's only the third day. Um, it seems like such an incredible experience that they can take further on. It doesn't just stop. Um, it seems like an incredible opportunity for the students here in Whitehorse. You know, with CanCode coming, it gives an opportunity not just to light the spark for the students that we have, but to show that we're not that small and that we do have an opportunity to really facilitate the needs that we have as a community. So it really opens up a new world and a new day, I think, in terms of the way technology is going. And for once, I don't feel like we're being left behind. I think we're giving an opportunity to even be leaders in the smaller communities of the North. And I know I speak on behalf of everyone that's partaken in the last few days. We're very, very uh, impressed by the expertise and the professionalism and the generosity, quite frankly, uh, being able to come all the way to the Yukon uh, to be able to offer this opportunity. So it's CanCode that gives us the opportunities to be able to create camps like this and help inspire children to get involved with FIRST and FIRST LEGO League and be able to move through the FIRST progressions into adulthood and then come back to mentor and continue to inspire. Robotics is going to become a really good skill to have if you know how to code because of like the way the world is turning and how everything's becoming more technology oriented. I mean, it's only a five-day camp, but it's been three days and I've learned quite a bit more than I did like in the six months I spent at school programming the robots. Programming is really fun. It's, it's easier than I thought it would be. If, if I'm given a problem, I can comprehend and use strategies that I know in the past. So. If I have to do a whole bunch of low problems, probably later on in life I'll be able to do lots of bigger and challenging ones where it could affect lots more than just winning a contest or something like that. And you can see how excited they are to figure out and solve a challenge using their hands, using coding, using programming, maybe coming into this camp going, I don't even know what programming is. I have no idea how it applies to real life, but that's what they get to learn here. And you can see the excitement. It also kind of, you know, has some light bulbs for me and sparks some interest for me um, because they're so excited. It's, it's incredible to see.